Hey friends, welcome back. This is Excel Video 108. And we're going to take these spark lines a little bit further today. And what I have today is um, October collections. I've got October 2010 here. I've got overall clinic and I've got my different physicians. And I want to chart that, but or maybe show it on a dashboard. But the thing that would be helpful would be to show the historical numbers that I have over here some way. This goes all the way back to October 2009. And it'd be helpful for me to show these numbers in context. I mean, in context, is 920,000 good, bad, high, low? And let me unhide what I've got here, and I'll show you what you can do with a spark line. Is I can put right next to these numbers, I can put a spark line that shows where I am overall, and I can and um, I can highlight the red dot is the low point in the last 12 months. The green dot on these spark lines is the high point in the last 12 months. So I can see, hey, Dr. J is, was at his lowest point last month and now is at his highest point this month. It's an easy way to show context. And the beauty of a spark line is watch what happens when I do this. The spark line gets bigger or smaller, or you can do this too. And you can change the perspective of the spark line just by dragging the cell around. Let me just show you quickly how I did one of these, and then we'll go into more detail uh, next time. The insert menu, spark lines, and this is a line spark line. And the first thing it wants to know is the data range. Well, the data range just goes over here to October 2009, and I'm going to hit enter. The location range is where do I want the spark line? And in D4 is fine, so I click OK. Let's arrow back over here, and there's my spark line. And if I made this, let's see, 13. Column width. Now I've got a spark line that's very similar to this spark line that I have over here. The only thing I did to this one was if I come over to uh, from let's go to spark line tools in the design menu. If I go to design, then what you can do is you can click here for the high point and there for the low point and make that work. The other thing you can do is you can change the the marker color or the line color. So for the high point, you know, we could make it green and for the low point we'll make it red. And now I have the very same spark line that I started um, the example with over there. If I double click right here, are you can help me do that. Fill it down. Now I I got one spark line right and it automatically figured out, okay, this spark line's looking at this range, this spark line here is looking at that range, and I got one right and it copied it down for me. Now I have a very easy way to show trends right next to this data without doing a great big chart or without having to show all this data. And besides, by putting these, you know, nine or ten doctors plus an overall clinic average into one line chart, there'd be so many lines it'd be really hard to read. Instead, with this next to it, and again, I Obviously, I wouldn't do it twice. I uh, well, let's just hide this for a minute. I I could easily in one, two, three columns show where we are this month and give some good perspective on where that fits into the trend of the last year, all with this cool little Excel feature called Sparklines. Hope that was helpful for you. Stay tuned next time. We're going to play with this Sparkline a little bit more. Thanks for watching.